Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today I want to talk about the 14 day login event as well as all of the kind of Christmas uh, event holiday sales and packages that they have in the store. But first, I do want to address the fact that I think putting Nova on this amid the loot box controversy, the boycott 3.6, and the admission by Netmarble that they made a mistake and that they're going to fix it and take them out is really just in really poor taste. You know, they fed us something that was poisonous. Some people died at the dinner table. We sent back the dish and they didn't throw the dish in the garbage. They kept it out in, in the storefront window so that new prospective customers could walk by, see the dish and come inside and maybe get a taste of it before the end of the night. So I think trying to lure in new players and new whales uh, who might be, you know, dumb or uh, just in, uninformed, maybe they're just blue in the face, uh, don't, uh, you know, doesn't really sit well with me. And that's kind of going to be the theme and the tone for today's video. So if you're expecting something kind of bright and cheery and kind of false, uh, I don't have that for you. You know, I do enjoy making Marvel Future Fight videos when I have interesting things to discuss and when I have something informative or cool that I can share with you guys, but I'm having a hard time these days finding that kind of content without it having to do directly with these loot box characters, Nova, Anti-Man, and uh, at Blue Marvel. So if you're going to see new content from time to time, uh, be sure to support me on that because when this game finally does correct itself and get back to normal, I can continue to cover it. Uh, and I can continue to make uh, the content that you enjoy for this game, even though it's not every single day. Uh, now, as far as the actual celebration packs go, uh, we kind of have a mixed bag. The first two, I think, or the first one, I think, is quite bad. Uh, the 550 crystals is a decent deal for the amount of money. It's pretty much one-to-one. -one. The price that I'm seeing is different than your price. It doesn't matter. Essentially, uh, this is just because it's Canadian dollars. Uh, so you basically have to weigh the extra two or three dollars against the biometric selectors, the Norn Stones, and the boost points. Honestly, the 300 biometric selectors are pretty garbage. These are only good for absolutely brand new players, which maybe that's who Netmarble wants to appeal to. Let's sell new players a bunch of crystals, a bunch of bio packs. They can unlock the new ultimate hero chests. I don't want to be too cynical about it, but it's hard to see who this is really targeted for. The boost points do not be allured or do not be seduced by them. Uh, this is worth uh, just a couple hundred crystals, I think 300 crystals, so it's really not much. And overall, it's not worth, uh, you know, breaking the boycott over and supporting Netmarble over this kind of garbage. Uh, but I do have to be impartial. I do think that this second pack is actually good for the value. I do not want or I hope that no one will purchase it until Netmarble gets their act together and uh, gets rid of the ultimate boxes. But if you had to force me to answer purely based on logic and ignoring the boycott, I would have to say that this is arguably the best deal in the game because you get the... Uh, equal amount of crystals that you would get for spending this amount of money. You get 2,000 Nornstones, which is enough for almost half of a full native tier 2, which is a lot of Nornstones if you think about it, the amount of grinding that that saves you. Uh, again, this is expertly geared towards new players, but veterans can definitely appreciate this. With 3 Uru, this definitely appeals to the veteran player because new players won't be at shield level 70, can't take advantage of Uru, but uh, veterans, especially ABX folks, focused uh, folks and alliances can take a huge uh, jump from this uh, bonus and then the 500 boost points is a little bit better a, a thousand would have been nice I mean we know that pretty much all boost point uh, rewards are garbage so Netmarble could either boost the rewards or just give us more boost points because really uh, this is not an appealing thing and they're kind of just further devaluing boost points in the eyes of the community as more people use them and report that they're not getting any CTPs or you know good items from them uh, then we have the crystal side of things so those are for kind of the ultra whales who want to spend money and throw down cash these other two deals are targeted towards your savers most likely and these are people who have a lot of crystals saved up they're smart they're penny pinchers they just keep racking up those stark stashes uh, and we'll get the the simple one out of the way here this pack is absolute trash the level 5 uniform XP chips are nice, but they're just a time saver. 100 uniform upgrade kits is nothing. You can get that in less than a week. So think about that. Can you grind 2,500 crystals in a week? Hell no. That's about a, that's less than a week's worth of uniform upgrade kits. You can get 20 per day if you're aggressive about it and you have energy and your shield level 70, etc. Bios and Nornstones, again, 
really who needs those at this point you get more than that from a week's worth of Shadowlands so literally this is about a week's worth of grinding aside from the uniform XP chips are those chips worth 2500 crystals no way in my mind and then we have the end of year pack number one uh, this is another great deal if you've been saving up crystals uh, you could strongly consider I would consider skipping the magneto pack for this uh, for certain players because it immediately gives you a mega tier 2 ticket and a mega rank up ticket so you could take uh, you know Sharon Rogers or you could take another character after Sharon Rogers up to six stars a, a paywall character that you get for free even if you're free to play and then you could get uh, another of uh, one of those characters immediately pushed up to uh, tier two you know maxed out so it's a really good deal normally just the first item just this mega tier two ticket is worth 8400 crystals roughly uh, and then the mega rank up and the mega mastery is worth another about 2000 crystals the uh, fully awakened ISO is worth about 500 crystals to a thousand depending on who you asked and then the three million gold is worth you know another few hundred crystals so this is probably the best deal in the game uh for crystals and i think the crystal packs are a little bit more appealing to people because they don't actually technically need to cost as much uh you could pick up this pack for just over 15 dollars if you have three stark stashes plus a few uh weeks or a month of regular crystal grinding so you know 15 bucks for something that usually costs a hundred more than 100 actually for those three main items is a juicy bit of uh savings if you've been you know kind of saving yourself for the last three months plus then i want to talk about the 14 day check-in event uh this is nice for, for the lead up to christmas uh it kind of overshoots christmas by a lot i guess it's for new year's i haven't done the math on it but 20 uh hidden tickets is kind of okay again the day eight and day five rewards are just for new players the clear tickets or whatever one bit of energy i don't know um i think they could have combined some of these rewards they could have put the clear tickets with the hidden tickets because just 50 hidden tickets is really nothing special uh the 50 uh black antimatter again i think they could have combined the chaos nordstones and the black antimatter and they could have put some other things in here they could have put gear up kits for new players because we know that they really need those uh, and they could have put in something else. I don't think that they should have made this check-in event um, more generous. I think a tier two ticket is definitely uh, enough. I just think that they could have added more items, not necessarily rarer items, if that makes any sense. So they could have added some, you know, three-star Uru. They could have added, you know, one fully awakened ISO. Things like that uh, they could have done. Uh, they could have boosted the number of uh, hidden tickets especially because we know about ctps and stuff like that but overall i think it's a pretty decent uh gift you know seven almost a million gold and uh some of the other things are nice um finally i just want to say uh, we're also getting another limited event coming up a uh, gold limited event uh coming up soon so finally in general i think that while netmarble's uh strategy may be in the right place i think from kind of a customer relations standpoint of view they kind of missed the mark heavily with this uh christmas update you know christmas is a time of giving it's a time where customers want to spend money but they want to feel as though they're getting a deal and they're supporting someone or a company that they trust you know no no one wants to feel ripped off on christmas that that kind of bad santa uh, uh idea is really in the backs of people's minds sometimes when they go to these big corporations and they spend money having nova on the front of your 14 day calendar event and having some of these uh items that are clearly targeted towards people to just turn around and purchase uh, ultimate chests or turn around and use the items from these uh, sales t on those ultimate characters like Nova and Anti-Man. I mean, I wouldn't surprise if Netmarble, I wouldn't be shocked if they had a pop-up here that said, hey, buddy, you just spent some crystals on our gambling box. Now you can use these uh, items that you're going to buy because we know you're a sucker, uh, where you can use those on Anti-Man and Nova. It doesn't make the customer a sucker, but it just it feels dirty, if you know what I mean. Uh, the last thing I do want to mention that I should have mentioned before I did that is about the Alliance store changes. So you can actually donate uh, 100 or a million gold now and get double the Alliance tokens. People who saved up mementos, I'm not sure if you get double the mementos. It would be nice 
mementos. If you did, uh, someone can confirm in the comments, but you do get double the alliance token. So instead of 100, I get 200. So that essentially halves the cost of some of these items. So instead of costing 320,000 gold, these 32 ones now only cost 160. So you can purchase these pretty aggressively. In addition to the original stuff, they also have some limited time uh, offers. I think that the hidden tickets are pretty nice. You should probably try to pick these up every day that you can. Um, the Norn Stones, I don't even think they're worth it for new players. 15 is just such a low number. Same with the rank 1 Black Antimatter. Why they equate 1 Black Antimatter to 1 Norn Stone is honestly so nonsensical. Netmarble themselves has about a third the drop rate for Norn Stones as they do Black Antimatter. You can get about 10 Norn Stones for almost 40 Black Antimatter. So it's a little bit less than one third. And yet in these store purchases, they actually equate these two items uh, to being the same cost. It doesn't make any sense at all. Even if this was half, 25 tokens, I still wouldn't buy this. Same with the Emkron Crystals. Honestly, the Feathers are would be a soft pass for me. I can see why some people would want them, but 15, again, is just such a low number for half a million gold. Uh, it's just not worth it. I guess it's a quarter of a million gold now, but still. You know, 30 Feathers for half a million no but the hidden tickets are nice i think the boost points are pretty nice too because you also get the energy reduction you also get the boost in gold uh so if you have a gold booster already that 100 percent adds on instead of 150 and it's 150 percent so that's nice and then there's obviously the rare chance that you can get you know three clear tickets or five gear up kits from your boost point reward so it's always cool to get some extra presents on christmas uh but overall i think that these this alliance store change is nice it's good to show some flexibility which is what netmarble is doing with these kinds of things uh since we got the alliance store we've been wondering hey when is netmarble going to change some of these items or add some new items or tweak what this biometric selector can purchase and they haven't done anything so it's nice for them to finally show a little love and kind of break out of the mold of being a very stagnant company in terms of our stagnant development team i should say in terms of existing game modes and existing game content they like to just throw it out there and then just leave it for you know six months 12 months 18 months without any changes whatsoever because you know if it's pretty broken better not fix it at all just ignore its existence altogether so that is my breakdown of the Christmas event, Christmas sales, 14-day uh, calendar login, and the Alliance store changes, and of the upcoming gold uh, event where you spend gold and you get some crummy items. Obviously, I'm a little bit salty because we need those boxes removed. That would be the ultimate Christmas gift. But let me know what your thoughts are because I'm just one voice. Subscribe if you enjoy my content and you want to support me. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.